Welcome to today's Bible study for New Macedonia Baptist Church in Newport, Kentucky. I'm Pastor Randall Baker. Today we'll be on Joshua uh, chapter 21. would like to remind you, you can send in your gift, your offering, whatever you'd like to send in for the church, the running of the church, the ladies' fund, the building fund, the Sunday school. Just send in the P.O. Box 151, Alexandria, Kentucky, 41001. would also like to ask you to pray for some people. Uh, Brother William was in a car accident and uh, is in the hospital and on the way to a uh, university hospital with some broken ribs right now. Just pray for him, pray for, uh, pray for C.A. Griffith. Uh, my neighbor Tom Cadell uh, died a couple of days ago. Pray for his family and all those who have lost loved ones. Pray for Wilburn Turner, Lucy Mays, uh, Nancy Combs, Herschel Viers, uh, Geneva, and Sister Sylvia, her ex-husband Jim, her grandson uh, Dylan, and all the sick and the need. I'm sure I've forgotten a lot of them, but uh, uh, you just pray for them uh, when you pray and ask God to bless them. Pray for the elderly, the widows, and the widowers. Pray for our church and all the congregation, all the members of it and their families. Pray for the missionaries, uh, the evangelists, all of God's people wherever they are, and pray for the lost, of course. Let's go ahead and open in prayer. Heavenly Father, we do thank you, Lord, for all the many wonderful gifts you do for us, the things you give us, Lord, the many blessings you bestow upon us, Lord. Just bless those that are sick, injured, those in need, those that have lost loved ones, bless and comfort them and be your will. Just be with us in all things, God, and direct our Bible study today on uh, Joshua chapter 21. Just uh, bless the reading of your word, Lord. And then just give us understanding, if it be your will, we thank you for it. Thank you for all the many wonderful things you do. Just bless us, Lord. Forgive us of our transgressions and our shortcomings, Lord. And bless us to be what you would have us to be. Let us give you all the glory, praise, and honor. In Jesus Christ's name we do pray. And amen. As I said, we are on uh, Joshua chapter 21, beginning in verse 1. And uh, right now we'll just read uh, verses 1, 2, and 3. And it says, uh, Then came near the heads of the fathers of the Levites, unto Eleazar the priest, and unto Joshua the son of Nun, and unto the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel. And they spake unto them at Shiloh in the land of Canaan, saying, The Lord commanded by the hand of Moses to give us cities to dwell in with the suburbs uh, thereof for our cattle. And the children of Israel gave unto the Levites out of their inheritance at the commandment of the Lord these cities and their suburbs. And we will go ahead and talk about those cities in a minute. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> as we know, the land of Canaan was divided up uh, to the tribes of Israel uh, from chapters 13 uh, of Joshua up to this one, uh, including this one, uh, chapter 21. In chapter 21, the cities... Uh, not the whole nation areas, but just cities and lands surrounding them were given to the Levites. The Levites were the seed of Levi, the third son of Jacob and Leah. And the Levites were chosen out of the 12 tribes of Israel to do the service in and around the tabernacle. Uh, and then the temple when it was built, some of them were chosen to be the uh, priests. And we'll see that in just a minute. After the firstborn of Egypt, uh, before the Passover, after they were killed, God uh, took the firstborn of Israel as his inheritance. And they were intended to be the priest and uh, the servants in the temple. But when, but when Moses and Joshua were on the Mount, Mount Sinai and they were receiving the Ten Commandments, or Moses was anyway, the Israelites, and it was, this included the firstborn who should have been the leaders there, the firstborn made a calf, a uh, golden calf, and they worshiped it. And then when Moses returned and saw that what was done, and he saw who had done and what he had done, he asked, who is on the Lord's side? Uh, and uh, the Bible says that the Levites then came over, that they came over with uh, Moses. And, and Moses told them then to, to strap on their swords and kill those that were involved in that. And, uh, and they did that. They killed very many of them with the, that led the rebellion against uh, God. Now, God uh, then at that time rejected the firstborn and chose the uh, Levites for their uh, zeal there. They had for God to be the priest and to be the servants in the tabernacle. Now, Aaron had been chosen. Uh, for one thing, before he had even been chosen, before <coughs> probably to be uh, the first high priest, and he had uh, accepted the call of God, so he was, he was chosen to lead uh, the Israelites out of uh, Egypt with, uh, with Moses. And he was the first high priest because he was the firstborn. And then later on, of course, as God knows, and he knows all things, he was a uh, son of Levi. Levi had three sons, Gershon, 
uh, Kohath, uh, and Merari. Now Aaron, as I said earlier, was the firstborn of Aram and Jochebed, uh, and both of them were descendants of Kohath. So he was priest first because he was the firstborn, as I mentioned earlier, firstborn son, and then because he was a Levite and a Kohath. Uh, he was a great uh, grandson of Levi. Levi. Uh, he was a grandson of Kohath, the son of, of Levi. A uh, priest was a Levite, but not all Levites uh, could be priests. The priest uh, must also be a Kohathite, uh, but not all of the Kohathites could be priests. A priest must be a descendant of Levi, and a descendant of Kohathite, and the descendant of Aaron. Uh, of course, was a descendant of Kohath, uh, who was of the seed of Levi. But of all the Levites, uh, but all the Levites were assumed, assigned uh, duties in the tabernacle, not ju just the priests, but all of them were. Some took down the covering of the tabernacle uh, when it was moved. Some uh, took the framework apart and, uh, and reassembled it. Others carried the Ark uh, of the Covenant. And the, uh, the Levites received no land uh, to be called uh, Levi for two reasons. Number one, because God had said that they... Uh, that he was their inheritance and that they were his inheritance. And number two, because in Genesis 49, 5 through 7, when Jacob was dying and he was blessing his son of his sons and cursing some of his sons, uh, he said of, Le of Semi Simeon and Levi uh, because uh, they had uh, cruelly, very cruelly killed all the males in Shechem because the prince of Shechem had raped their sister Dinah. Uh, that they would be because of their cruelty, not because they had uh, uh, avenged Dinah, but because of their cruelty that they would be scattered and divided in Israel. The chapter 21 talks about the cities that were given to the Levites within the inheritance of the other tribes, not for their own, but their inheritance, uh, but the other tribes' inheritance. This division was also done at Shiloh, where the others was done, uh, where the other tribes had received their lands. The tribes all agreed to give the Levites land, uh, cities, pastors for their cattle. As you know, cattle doesn't mean just cows. It also means uh, 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 sheep and goats. Uh, and Moses, uh, Moses had been told by God to do this, and all the Levites now, they agreed to it. Uh, verse 4, verse 4 says, And the lot came out of the families of the Kohathites, and the children of Aaron the priest, which were of the Levites, had by lot out of the tribe of Judah, and out of the tribe of Simeon, and out of the tribe of Benjamin. Thirteen cities. <clears throat> now the Kohathites, as I mentioned earlier, were the tribe that Aaron and his seed uh, were from. As the priests, they were given different cities from the rest of the Kohathites. The priest cities were close to Jerusalem where the temple was located. Because of their service in the temple, they all had to always be available for sacrifices and offerings and everything else that had to be done within the temple. They had to be close to the temple all the time. Their cities were taken from the inheritance of Judah, Simeon, and Benjamin. It was 13 cities. These cities are going to be named here in a bit, uh, given in the verses 9 through 19. And there were 13 cities, the Bible says. Verse 5 says this, and the rest of the children of Kohath had by lot out of the families of the tribe of Ephraim and out of the tribe of Dan and out of the half tribe of Manasseh's ten cities. Uh, so, as I said, uh, Aaron was of the tribe of Kohath, but only his seed could be uh, could be priests. Now the rest of the Kohathites, so uh, uh, apart from Aaron's seed, the priests, uh, they were given cities also uh, in close proximity to the temple out of Ephraim, out of Dan, and the half tribe of Manasseh, and they were all on the west side, the same as Judah uh, of Jordan on uh, those ten cities. And then verse 6 says this, and the children of Gershon had by lot out of the families of the tribe of Issachar and out of the tribe of Is Asher and out of the tri tribe of Naphtali and out of the half tribe of Manasseh in Bashan, 13 cities. Uh, so the seed of Gershon, who was the firstborn of Levi, was given land out of the tribes of Issachar, out of Asher, out of Naphtali and a half tribe of Manasseh uh, in Bashan on the east side of Jordan they were given 
13 cities. Verses 7 and 8 says, The children of Merari by their families had uh, out of the tribe of Reuben and out of the uh, tribe of Gad and out of the tribe of Zebulun 12 cities. And the children of Israel gave by lot unto Le uh, to the Levites these cities with their suburbs as the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses. As I said, there were, there were three uh, children, Gershon, um, uh, uh, Rari and uh, uh, what was that one's name? Um, Kohath. So of those three sons, they were uh, they were divided up, and they were all given uh, cities. Uh, they were all Levites. They were all given cities because of that. Uh, verses 9 through 19 talks about the cities given to Aaron. And they gave out of the tribe of the children of Judah and out of the tribe of the children of Simeon these cities which are here mentioned by name. Which the children of Aaron uh, being of the families of the Kohathites who were of the children of Levi had, had for theirs was the first lot. And they gave them the city of Arba, the father of Anak, which city is Hebron in the hill country of Judah with the suburbs thereof round about it. But the fields of the city and the villages thereof gave they to Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, for his possession. Thus they gave to the children of Aaron, the priest Hebron, with her suburbs, to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Libna, with her suburbs, and Jatera, with her suburbs, and Eshtemoah, with her suburbs, and Holam, with her suburbs, and Deber, with her suburbs, and Ain with her suburbs, and Jada with her suburbs, and Beth Shemesh with her suburbs, nine cities out of these two tribes. And out of the tribe of Benjamin, Gibeon with her suburbs, Gibba with her suburbs, Anna, Anathoth with her suburbs, and Almon with her suburbs, four cities. All the cities of the children of Aaron, the priest, or 13 cities with their suburbs. So the 13 cities given to Aaron and his seed, the priests, uh, are named here in these verses. Uh, uh, one is Arba, who was the father of Anak. Anak uh, means giant or long neck. Uh, the book of Numbers says that Anak was the forefather of the Anakims, who we know to be the giants. Arba was also called Hebron. It was in Judah, as the Bible said there, and some of this land had already been given to Caleb for being a faithful spy. Uh, Hebron was also designated to be a refuge city. That was the first. That was the first city uh, that was given uh, to uh, to Aaron's seed. And then the second one was Tibna, also in Judah. The third was Jatir, also in Judah, and it, it was uh, and it uh, was near uh, the tribe of Simeon. Uh, fourth was uh, Eshtemoah in central Judah. The fifth was Holon of Judah. And six was Deber, it was near Hebron in uh, Judah. Seventh was Ai in southern Judah uh, and, and near Simeon again. Uh, the eighth was Judah, was a few miles south of Hebron in Judah. Uh, the ninth was Beth Shemesh in northern Judah between Judah and Dan. These nine cities were in Judah and Simeon. Uh, uh, the tenth one was Gibeon in the central uh, central uh, central and, and sort of the western section of Benjamin. Uh, Eleven was Giba or Giba. Uh, it was also in Benjamin on the southern border near Judah. Uh, the eleventh or the twelfth rather was Anathoth, a city in Benjamin, the hometown of the of the uh, prophet Jeremiah. The thirteenth was Almon, also a city of Benjamin. It was and that completes the thirteen cities that were given to the priest, the seed of uh, Aaron. Verses 20 uh, through 26 says, And the families of the children of, of Kohath, the Levites, which remained of the children of Kohath, even they had the cities of their lot out of the tribe of Ephraim. For they gave them Shechem with her suburbs in Mount Ephraim to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Gezer with her suburbs, and, and Kib Azim with her suburbs, and Beth Horon with her suburb, uh, suburbs, four cities. And out of the tribe of Dan, Eltake with her city suburbs, Gibbethon with her suburbs, Ai Jalon with her suburbs, Gath Rimon with her suburbs, four cities. And out of the half tribe of Manasseh, 
Tanek with her suburbs and Gath Rimon with her suburbs, two cities. All the cities were ten with their suburbs from the families for the families of the children of Kohath that remained. These were all those that were uh, other than, uh, they were Kohaths, but they were not priests. Uh, the rest of the Kohaths that were not of the seed of Aaron, they were not priests. They also received cities in Ephraim. They received the first one was Shechem in Mount Ephraim, also a city of, of refuge. Uh, Gezer, Gezer in uh, Ephraim, a city located, and it was an important, it was at an important crossroads, and that was, uh, we can read uh, later on in the Bible, that it was well fortified by Solomon when he became king of Israel and Judah both. The third was uh, uh, Kibzeon, a town in Ephraim, and the fourth was Beth Horan in the hill country of Ephraim. Uh, this makes up the fourth uh, city in Ephraim given to the Kohathites. Out of Dan also, out of the tribe of Dan was given four cities. The, the, and that was the, the fifth uh, city then was uh, called uh, Eltike. The sixth was Gibbethon, the southwest of Geber, near the border of uh, Ju uh, Jordan and uh, Dan. Uh, Degelon in the central eastern section of Dan uh, may be associated with uh, uh, Amos, uh, the, the road to uh, uh, Emias. Uh, uh, Gath Rimon was the fourth city given to the Kohathites out of Dan. Out of the half tribe of Manasseh on the west side of Jordan River was given two cities. Tomek, Tanak in the northern part, that was the ninth uh, city. Of Manasseh in the west. Uh, it was a little south of Megiddo, which you know, which you know will be uh, Armageddon. Um, and uh, <clears throat> Adrian with a, there, there's a there's a, a town with the same name that still uh, exists near the old lake location of Tanak today. It's still there today. Uh, tenth uh, tenth was another city named Gath Rimon, called uh, also called uh, uh, Biliam in First Chronicles, and it makes up the two cities in Manasseh as the west side of Jordan. These ten cities were for the Kohathites that were not priests. The rest of them, the Bible says, the rest of them. Verses 27 through 33 says, uh, cities that were given to Gershon, and unto the children of Gershon of the families of the Levites, out of the other half-tribe of the Manasseh, uh, they gave to Golan and Bashan with her suburbs, uh, to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Beth uh, Beesh uh, Tira, with her suburbs, two cities, and out of the tribe of Issachar, Kishon with her suburbs, Davera with her suburbs, Jermuth with her suburbs, and in Gan Nim with her suburbs, four cities, and out of the tribe of Asher, Mashel with her suburbs, Abdon with her suburbs, Helketh with her suburbs. Rehob with her suburbs, four cities, and out of the tribe of Naphtali, Kedesh in Galilee with her suburbs, to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Hamoth Dor with her suburbs, and Kartan with her suburbs, three cities. All the cities of the Gershonites, according to their family, were 13 cities with their suburbs. So on the east side of Jordan River, on the, on the other half uh, tribe of, of Nasi, the Gershonites were given two cities. And they were number one was Golan, known today as the Golan Heights. Uh, they had formerly uh, been uh, a Bashan of King Og the Giant. It was also one of the six <coughs> refuge cities. The second city uh, given in Manasseh was uh, Beshtira, which also called Ashtaroth. Uh, and it's in the central part of East Manasseh from the inheritance of, uh, and then from the inheritance of Issachar was given to the Gershonites, the cities of, which was the third city, uh, Kishon, Kishon rather, in Issachar. And it might have been the place where the Kishon River, uh, or brook it's talking about in some other parts of the Bible, it runs through and may have been the place where Elijah had the priests of Baal executed. The fourth city uh, given, uh, it was also in Ishakar, was uh, Dabara. The fifth was Jarmuth. It was near to the Jordan River in Ishakar's border, or on Ishakar's border. The sixth was in Gammon, uh, and that was four cities in Ishakar given to the Gershomites. Out of Asher was given the Gershomites, the city of, and the seventh one was Mishael in the southern part of Asher near Zebulon. The eighth was Abdon. 
The ninth was Helkath, which was a city in the most southern part of Asher. The tenth was Rahab, uh, and, and it may have been in the north of Asher, near Tyre. Some of these cities are lost, and they don't know exactly where they were uh, exactly. Uh, that was the four cities of Asher out of Naphtali was given. And uh, these were, uh, uh, the eleventh was Kadesh. It was in the, in the central Naphtali of the cities of refuge. Uh, the twelfth uh, was Hamath Ador, uh, also called Hamath. Hamath Ador, also called Hamath. Uh, it, was, it was in the southern part of Naphtali on the border of the Sea of Galilee. Thirteen was Kartan, and these three cities in Naphtali were given to the Gershonites for Levitical city, cities. Thirteen cities in all for the Gershonites. Verse 34 uh, to 42 said, And unto the families of the children of Merari, the rest of the Levites, out of the tribe of Zebulun, Jokneam with her suburbs, and Kartan with her suburbs, Dimna with her suburbs, Nahala, well, with her suburbs, four cities. And out of the tribe of Reuben, Bezer, with her suburbs. And Jehaza, with her suburbs. Kedemoth, with her suburbs. And Mephatha, with her suburbs, four cities. And out of the tribe of Gad, Ramoth and Gilead, with her suburbs, to be a city of refuge for the slayer. And Mahanim, with her suburbs. Heshbon with her suburbs, Jazar with her sub suburbs, four cities in all. So all the cities for the children of Merari by their families, which were remaining of the families of Revi Levites, were by their lot, 12 cities. All the cities of the Levites within the possession of the children of Israel were 40 and 8 cities with their suburbs. So to the family of Merari, which was the third son of Levi, was given to them to live in out of Zebulun, uh, they had Jokneam in the southern uh, Zebulun near the borders of Manasseh and Iskar. Uh, Kartan. Now the Gersonites had, were given a city named Kartan in Naphtali, and now the uh, Merarites have been given a city named Kartan in Zebulun. A lot, a lot of times in the Bible we can read where there were two cities named the same thing, but they were in different, they were in different so to speak, countries. Uh, the third one was uh, Dimma. Demna, rather, a city in Zebulun. Fourth was Nahalel. Nahalel uh, and Judges uh, 130 says that the Israelites didn't drive out uh, the inhabitants of, uh, of Nahalel, uh, but that they become tributaries to the Israelites. These four cities were inside of Zebulun, and they also had cities within the tribe of Reuben on the east side of Jordan. And, the, and the, so that made the fifth uh, city was Bezer in the northeast of Reuben. The sixth was Jehaza, Haza, uh, and it may be the same as Jehaz, in the east of Reuben, near Moab and Amnon, between those two places. The seven was Kedemoth, north of Jehaza, in uh, Reuben, Reuben. And uh, the eighth was Mephihoth, Mephihoth uh, in northern Reuben, near the border of Gad. These were four cities in Reuben given to the Merarites. Out of Gad they were given uh, as the ninth city, Ramoth and Gilead, in the northern section of Gad. Uh, and that's near the border of Manasseh in the east. Uh, and there was a city of refuge. That was a city of refuge as well. Uh, Mahaniam also means the border, of, uh, also near the border of Manasseh in the west side of Gad near the Jordan River. The eleventh was Hezbon on the southern border of Gad near Reuben. Twelve was Jazer, probably northeast uh, of Gad near Ammon, uh, Amnon. Uh, these four cities in Gad were given to the Merarites, uh, uh, Merarites rather, and that made twelve cities given to them. Forty-eight cities altogether were given to the priests and the Levites, and that also included the six refuge cities. Verse 43 through 45, to finish up this chapter, says, And the Lord gave unto Israel all the land which he swore swear, to give unto their fathers, and they possessed it and dwelt therein. And the Lord gave them rest round about according to all that he swore unto their fathers. And there stood not a man of all their enemies before them. The Lord delivered all their enemies into their hand. And there, there failed not aught of any good thing which the Lord had spoken unto the house of Israel.
all came to pass. You know, what God, what God says he's going to do, he does. And God had promised them the land of Canaan for inheritance, and he delivered it all into their hand. Now, for some of the places the Israelites didn't conquer, not because God hadn't given it to them or, or hadn't given, delivered their enemies, but because their faith failed them. And, and some of them, some of the cities, they didn't completely drive out the people of Canaan. But they made servants of them and tributaries of them, and that's not what God wanted to do. That caused problems for them, lots of problems for them, idol worship and stuff like that. And some of the places also they took, and then later they lost again back to the Canaanites, back to the Philistines. Uh, and that was cause of their disobedience, of course, because God, God doesn't fail us, but we often fail God. Now, uh, 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 God's perfect. God always does what he says he's going to do. And he, could, he does completely what he says he's going to do. He doesn't do a half job. He does things perfectly and all the way. Uh, but we sometimes fail him. You know, we don't, we don't do what we're supposed to do. We don't hold up our end of the bargain. Uh, but God always does his. And God had, uh, had given uh, uh, them this inheritance just as he said he would. He defeated all their enemies. A small little nation came in and defeated great big giant areas there would be several of these nations that would join up together and they would still be easily defeated by God but then sometimes for whatever reason Israel would just think we can't we can't defeat these people and then of course they wouldn't be able to because uh, they wouldn't have God's uh, uh, help to do it they wouldn't have God in their work fighting for them and then when they were on their own they couldn't do anything which which proves the same for us if we're on our own we can't do anything but we can do all things as the Bible says through Christ which strengthen us uh, just uh, go ahead and study and, and uh, on uh, Joshua chapter 22 and see what God has for you. It looks like it'll be uh, uh, the eastern tribes, how they have uh, returned uh, to their land after they had came over and helped the western tribe uh, get their lands. Uh, but study that see what God has for you. God always has something for you for looking and reading and study the Bible. Uh, let's go ahead and close in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for all you do for us. We thank you for what you did for Israel. We thank you uh, for the great and uh, wonderful uh, battles that you fought and you, and you won for them, Lord. Thank you for the enemies you delivered into their hands. Thank you for the enemies you deliver in our hands, Lord. Just, I uh, just ask you to continue to bless, be with us, guide and direct us. Thank you for this whole Bible, Lord. Give us the desire to read and study it so that we can know what you would have us to be and you and the things that you would have us to know about it, Lord. Just on, just give us the understanding to understand what you would have us to, Lord, and we'll thank you for it. We'll give you all the glory, all the praise. In Jesus Christ's name we do pray, and amen.